Hi students, I want to show you an app that will um, give you a nice image of a normal curve if you want to copy and paste into your homework assignment. So you've been learning about how to calculate normal probabilities uh, with the empirical rule and then with GeoGebra. And GeoGebra is excellent for calculating. It's, I think it's the best thing we have for calculating normal probabilities, but it doesn't label the scale correctly. You know, we want to label it by the standard deviation. That's our scale. And then we want to label three on each side. Our GeoGebra isn't set up to do that. So it's fine for calculations and you can hand draw your normal curves anytime. But if you are typing your homework, your graded problem sets, and you want to copy and paste an image instead of trying to draw with a mouse or, or I mean, with a tablet or something, I want to give you a better website to do that, okay? So you've calculated area with a normal model, you've calculated cutoff values, and here I've put in the content page, I've put um, two different apps to use, okay? So the first one I'll click on it is normal probability. And you'll see it's a calculator similar to GeoGebra. Right now it's set at the standard normal zero one. And you can see the mean is exactly in the middle and there's three standard deviations on each side. Beautiful. So I'm gonna type in from the, um, the children's cholesterol problem in the notes. So our mean was 1.75 and our standard deviation was 0.3 or 0.30. And look at that, puts the mean in the middle and it counts by 0.3 on each side. So that's perfect. And then let's say we want to match, we want the shading to match the probability that we're finding. So we want above 2.11. And that is one of the problems we did um, in the notes and it's 0.1151. Same thing we got. Okay, so let's say this was a homework question. You could right click on this normal curve, hit copy image, or you could save it as a file if you wanted to, a separate file. I'm just gonna hit copy, and then I'm gonna open up my Word doc. Oops, I forgot to um, delete that. Let's say I had a blank Word document here, and um, I'm gonna paste this, right click or control V. I paste my image right in there. And then um, it's not as nice as Excel or something where you can type in titles. So I just hit enter and I typed my title right below here, serum cholesterol levels for kids in Wisconsin. Okay, pretty cool, huh? And then you can put it right into, uh, if you were doing some kind of report or project, you could paste it right in here. Um, let me go back to here and show you a couple more things. So you can also do below this way it's a little different, it doesn't have the brackets, it has these different options. Or between, we also did between 1.3 and 2.23. And that came out to 0.8784. So there is that image right there. Okay, really cool, huh? Um, let me go back to the other one. And this is if you're doing cutoff scores. So that's the drawback of this one is it, it needs two different ones, whereas GeoGebra we can just do everything in one app. Um, this we use for cutoff scores, percentiles, things like that. So if you select below, that will match what we use, how GeoGebra works, right? Because it sort of matches percentile. Um, so let's say I wanna find the 99th percentile that means if you have this cholesterol, you're higher than 99% of the people. So that's probably not good. I need to um, take some action there. Um, and so that number, that cutoff score is 2.326 milligrams per milliliter. I could copy and paste this into my document. And I forgot to put in milligrams per milliliter. Now I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna control V, just paste my other thing. Oh, so I didn't put in my, uh, close that up. I forgot to change my mean and standard deviation. 1.75, but no problem, it's easy to do. And 0.3. Okay, 
So now that looks better. Got my right scale and it's between 2.448 milligrams per milliliter. So I'll copy that. Paste right over it. Change picture. No, that's too. It's not worth it. I'm just paste right there. Okay, much better. Now I have the same scale that I did up there, and we can see this value for the cut score. Okay, so if you want to copy and paste for your graded homework, please use this um, app instead of GeoGebra because GeoGebra will not have the scale correctly. It doesn't. Uh, only occasionally it sometimes accidentally gets the scale right so uh, i hope this helps a lot and i'll see you see you soon thanks